All right. So we're basically going to take advantage. We're going to scrap the HFO magnet here. And uh, a process in doing that is, is releasing the vacuum. Uh, typically say pulling, but pulling vacuum means that you're, you're actually giving in vacuum. So, and what, what that is, is there's uh, a helium chamber inside. And then uh, that's filled obviously with liquid helium, which is very cold. And then to uh, protect it more or less from the atmospheric temperature, there's then a vacuum sleeve. They pull a vacuum, which uh, 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 pulls the microns uh, very thin that uh, basically separate the atmospheric temperature to the helium vessel. So for safety precautions, we always make sure that we pull a vacuum on our vessels before we scrap them. So we wanted to take advantage of that. Uh, we're gonna do it on the HFO, but I wanted to point out on the LCC. So this is the front of the LCC. Uh, is it the front? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you're basically gonna have uh, your, your vacuum port on the right side of the what would be the table. Uh, and it's basically got a little cap. You would need a flat head to access that, but basically behind your cap is your port on your LCC. And that's also the last line of defense for a emergency uh, evacuation of the magnetic field. So you have your uh, magnet rundown, and uh, and your, this is your last line of defense uh, for that. So we'll return back to the HFO. The HFO is actually dual chambered, so it's going to have two different uh, vacuum ports. The vacuum uh, ports are also going to have like a dust cap, basically, more or less. So you remove the dust cap. You put on this is uh, basically a uh, custom fitting uh, made by GE. Uh, the GE uh, fitting for the vacuum puller, if you will, is uh, 46-2608. 52G3 if you need to order that. But a lot of times this will come with the system as a whole when you purchase it. Uh, so basically you, you pull your, see basically it's all threads with a purchase point at the end of it. So you pull that all the way back, put your actuator, slip it over your vacuum port, push down on your actuator, and I like to go counterclockwise until you hear it basically jump the thread. Jump the thread, now I'll go clockwise. A couple turns, right? Give it a nice pull, make sure I got a good hold on the vacuum uh, uh, plug. And basically that's exactly all it is. It's a plug with an overeater on the side. So we're just gonna lightly pull. You don't wanna go fast, there's a lot of pressure or negative pressure. Nice to go nice and slow. You kind of hear it start sucking. Apply a little bit more pressure. How's it sucking?
a lot of vacuum. Yeah. So basically this would be the plug that you're basically pulling. It's literally just a plug with an O-ring on the end of it, held in by the vacuum. <clears throat> you wanna to try the top one? Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, camera a little smile, Kelly. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> 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 Come on, <you> guys. <laughs> I want your angle, Kevin. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, righty, tidy, lefty, Lucy. Oh, you got it? Alright, so that's it. That's easy. Yeah.